The year 1608 changed the course of science. It was when a Dutch spectacle maker, Hans Lippershey, invented the telescope. In the beginning, telescopes and astronomy had no connection at all. They were used by pirates to spot the enemy ships out in the sea. It was Galileo who turned the telescope skywards and this changed everything. About 400 years later, mankind took a giant leap with the launch of the Hubble Space Telescope. This was the first telescope that operated in space. It opened a window to the cosmos and showed us that nature is much more of an artist than a scientist or an engineer. 30 years since its launch, Hubble still remains one of the most successful space telescopes. But with time, everything needs to be replaced and so does our Hubble, whose place will now be taken by the next generation James Webb Space Telescope. But what is so special about this NASA's next big project? How will this new telescope be different from Hubble? Let us find out. First of all, let us talk about the name game. Hubble Space Telescope was named after Edwin Hubble who played a crucial role in setting up the field of extragalactic astronomy. Before Hubble, it was believed that the universe contains only one galaxy, the Milky Way. It was Hubble's work that showed it isn't true. On the other hand, JWST is named after James Webb who was the administrator of NASA from 1961 to 1968 and played an integral role in the Apollo mission. Next, the mission cost. When Hubble was first proposed, its cost was estimated to be $200 million. However, over the years it increased to billions. A similar trend has been followed by James Webb. Initially conceived as a $1 billion project, its lifetime cost till now has crossed $9 billion. It's indeed a lot of money. The size. Hubble was big, but James Webb is a beast. While the former was as big as a school bus, the latter is half the size of a 737 aircraft. The primary collecting area of JWST is five times larger and the sun shield on board is about the size of a tennis court. Now let us talk about the most important aspect, the functioning. A crucial difference between the two telescopes is the wavelength they are dealing with. What we see with the naked eye is called the optical part of the spectrum that extends all the way from gamma to X-rays, UV, infrared, micro and radio waves. But the universe isn't all about the optical region. A lot of information is received in other regions of the spectrum. Whereas Hubble primarily worked in UV and visible region, the James Webb will work in near infrared and hence see distant galaxies that Hubble could not. With James Webb, mankind will be able to see the deepest regions of the cosmos. There is another point where the two telescopes will differ drastically and that is distance from Earth. While Hubble orbited the Earth at an altitude of 570 kilometers, James Webb will be at a special point called the L1 point, far away at 1.5 million kilometers. At this point, the light from the Sun, Earth and the Moon will be blocked and the telescope will remain cool at minus 220 degrees Celsius. This is about 15 times cooler than Hubble. At such a large distance, James Webb won't enjoy regular services from astronauts as Hubble did. So if there is a glitch, it will be an expensive one. Lastly, every mission has a goal. Hubble's goal was to capture the cosmic wonders and it did that beautifully. It has discovered comets, asteroids, nebulae and even the moons of Pluto. It has helped scientists understand how galaxies and planets form. But James Webb is aiming even higher. It is going to investigate the universe at a broader range. It will answer how some of the first galaxies of the universe formed. Other goals include direct images of exoplanets, novas, stars and more. Time will tell how successful James Webb Space Telescope will be, but it is surely going to be a giant leap for the mankind. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.